congratulations on the show. Thank you. Um, it's a story we've heard, we've heard many, many times, but this has a very unique approach. Uh, was it that element that kind of sold you when you read the script that it was very, very different and very, very kind of refreshing? Yeah, absolutely. I think if you're going to tell such a well-worn story, uh, you need to have a reason for telling it and a fresh perspective, which Stephen, obviously Stephen's writing is incredible. Um, and just the scenes were really beautifully written. And I just really liked his insight and the darker tone to it. I felt like it was true to uh, what Dickens originally wrote that maybe have got lost through the retelling of it so many times. So. Yeah, I mean, Stephen is such a unique uh, writer. He's, he's gone, you know, he's made, made Hollywood movies, he's made Peaky Blinders. I mean, what was it about him that kind of drew you to him and what was he like to work with as a person? Because he seems like such a, such a genuine guy and has such a great kind of, um, a great mind. Well, I haven't actually met him. Oh. But, well, only briefly, not like properly. Okay. Um, so it's just his scripts and his words that I have to go on and just because he's so brilliant at what he does, you know, and that, that's it for me, it's the quality of the scripts and the yeah. storytelling. Yeah. And it's, it seems like such a huge production, did it feel huge when you were, were you on set or did it, was it, feel, did it feel like quite a, a, quite a intimate? Really intimate actually, yeah. um, the core cast is quite small um, and a lot of, uh, some of the scenes, are, uh, for me anyway, were either family scenes or one-on-one -on -one with Scrooge, with Guy, so it felt it felt really intimate and small and lovely and, and just a really lovely job to, to be a part of. And what drew you to, to your character and what kind of uh, uniquenesses, new, new things for her did you kind of see in the script that you thought, oh, I really would like to play her? Well, she's barely in the book. <laughs> to, to, Lots of different you know, things, yeah. She's barely in the book. But Stephen has really uh, created a, a brilliant three-dimensional character and a woman with real agency. Um, which I think you, you know you have to have now. You can't get away with having w without having female stories. Um, so it's just that really her, seeing her, what uh, her perspective, which D Dickens never elaborated on. So it's really interesting seeing Stephen's um, insight as to what she might have been going through. Yeah. And I've just final question. I mean, I've asked the other guys this about it's not linked in any way. But with the Joker movie, we've seen a character that people know and love, but we've seen it done very, very differently. And this seems similar in the sense that it's what we know, but what we don't know at the same time is something new. Why do you think audiences now like to see things made fresh and made given kind of unique take? rather than just telling it the way that they've seen it a million times before? Well, I think anything that you make, you're having a conversation with what's happening now, even if it's an old story and if it's set in the past. So I think you always, even if you're, your perspective will always differ depending on the time it's told. So uh, I just think what Stephen's done really brilliantly is really dig into the, sort of the, the bones of that because um, it has parallels to what's happening today, sadly, um, in terms of the social aspects of it. And, and Dickens was, was a real commentator on, on social time, so I think it stayed really true to its roots in that respect, but we can still see its echoes today. Absolutely. Well, listen, you did, you did. <laughs> absolutely, you did. Lovely to meet you. Congratulations you on the show. Thank you so much Thank for your time. You Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!